Okay, call center verification. Let me tell you a story. I was um, a couple of years, years back, I was helping this account, T-Mobile Activations. Activations, they have to activate SIM cards uh, for customers. Customers call in and these guys need to register. They need to, uh, they, the, one, the, one of the key processes that they needed to do was data entry. That means they needed to capture the customer's information so they can register, assign a telephone line to a specific customer. So I, I, I saw a lot of times there that a lot of agents that were doing this for the very first time, they were struggling. They were struggling with capturing information, especially with tricky names, addresses that you've never heard of before. Like for instance, Jafar Mohammed. They were taking 15 minutes, 12 minutes to register the customer's name, to get the customer's address. And the customers uh, sometimes got frustrated, right? And they, they, would, they would hang up, they would hang up. They go, I don't wanna talk to you, boom. And they would call again because the process was taking too long. So um, they called me in. They said, hey, Mr. E, we need somebody there to help us. We got a language barrier problem. So that was my job. So I went in there and I saw what the situation was. Okay, nobody here has soft skills. Can I get an ox, please? I asked the, 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 the trainer person who was in charge. I said, give me an ox. Give me an hour. I need to talk to these people. I need to talk to the team. So in the team huddle, we discussed this. Okay, I said, guys, this is the opportunity. We're taking 15 minutes to capture the customer's information and get them with a SIM card. That's way too long. Our average handle time, or in that place, it was called CRT, right? Call, call resolution time was about eight minutes. So no more than eight minutes uh, for the activations, you know, uh, to finish the complete process. And these guys were in nesting. They were doing their first uh, interactions with customers. There's still, there was a, a, still a lot of support uh, there for the guys. Well, anyhow, they were taking uh, more than eight minutes. These guys were taking 15 minutes. Oh, it was too long. The process was way too long. Um, so the same thing was that if they didn't lower that CRT, right? They didn't lower it. They were not going to graduate. They were not going to move on uh, from, to the floor, right? Because they were still in the in the training part. They were still uh, we call this. Uh, they were still, you know, with uh, with uh, support and everything at, at that time. Right? Nesting. Some places call it nesting and whatnot. But they were still in that stage of their training, right? So I went in and I said, okay, everybody, let's listen up. Let's huddle. Everybody pay attention. This is how we're going to do it. When the customer, when you ask, when you request the customer's uh, information and they and they come up with a name like Jamar, Jamar Mohammed, whatever, what you're going to do is you're going to say, Mr. Customer, I really appreciate that. Can you key spell your name, please? What we're going right? to do is, Mr. Customer, I'm sorry, I was not prepared for that. Can you key spell your name, please? Okay, sure. That's uh, D for Delta, A for Alpha or Adam. N for November, I for India, E for Echo, L for Lima, L for Lima, and E for Echo. Uh, in the first day from 15, uh, 20 minutes, woo, we lowered that to 12, 11 minutes. On the thir second, third day, man, that came down to seven, eight minutes. And when they got a the week, six, seven days, boom. That came down to the normal time, which a normal activation would take anywhere from four minutes to three minutes and a half. So they were, boom, everybody was on goal, right? Everybody was on goal, you know? Everybody was happy. Everybody graduated. Everybody became a T-Mobile agent. Some of these guys grew within the company and everybody's happy, do you understand? But we were able to do that by simply applying this phonetic alphabet, and it's going to happen to you because nobody has 100% listening.